Hey everyone, so these are going to be your random intuitive messages for those of you who feel guided to listen, who are brought here to these messages. Uh, this will be for you. And so let's take a look and see. I'm just pulling these completely intuitively. They're not geared toward any sign. They're not geared toward the month or any particular dates. Just some messages that were coming through that needed to come through for you <clears throat> that I felt the need to share. Okay. So the deck I'm using here is the Anna K. Tarot deck. This is the very first deck that I started using when I began my channel. And um, I feel they have the strongest energy still. I'm pulled still very much to these cards. Sometimes I have to take a break. So let's take a look and see what your messages are here for you. Okay, you're starting with the devil. <clears throat> This is Capricorn energy, um, but this can represent, for me, some of you could be dealing with an air sign, because if we have the Knight of Swords, he shows up here in this deck, um, which would be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. There's a, a sexual attraction to someone. It doesn't have to be uh, with that air sign, but there's an addiction, there's a pull, there's someone who is, um, that you possibly are dealing with who definitely has a, has a chain link to toxicity of some sort. Let's see if I can show you the images on the card. There are a lot of people, um, this definitely sexual. Okay. There's There are people that this person is connected to. <clears throat> they dwell in this fiery place. Look at all the all the uh, the jewels here. It's all about money and greed and addiction, fame and power. You know, it's it. But they are. They sold their soul. They sold their soul. And this is what they're currently dealing with. Okay, and, and, and this is connected to you, though, somehow. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like, you know, this you're connected to this energy. You're connected to this person. And this person wields power over many as well. Okay, it could be in a small circle. It could be in a cult type of a situation. It could be in a church. It could be in a community. It could be in entertainment. And they feel righteous in their in their ways, feel righteous in the things that they do. Six of Swords here. So, uh, you are trying to get away from this. This energy is very, and, and it could be that person too who is trying to, uh, they see they, they can see the power that it wields that's being wielded over them. Part of them wants to get out of this. They want to get free. The Six of Swords, it feels to me, uh, all that choppy water there, this energy. Um, <clears throat> they want to get out. They want to get you out. There's an element of guilt, I feel, stuck here. But there's also you getting yourself out of this as well, or trying to find peace and trying to get yourself to a much safer, calmer place in your life with a child or by yourself. Some of you are also have given up some addictions in your own life. Sex, drugs, alcohol abuse, food addiction, um, everything that comes along with that that's held you trapped and held you a prisoner and dealing with an addictive personality and attracting those types as well in your life uh, 
Oh, ten, uh, five of Swords. Yeah, there's some energy playing out here. And there's also... Mm, if you're trying to get out of something or get away from a situation that's very negative, you've got someone who is just not having it. Okay, with this Five of Swords energy, a lot of you are dealing with an air sign. But this Five of Swords energy, oh, they want to keep you, they want to keep you caught and trapped in, in their, their fiery pit of hell. This is what they want. And I know I just sound so... <laughs> demonic and dra dr dramatic but it's just there's so much there's so much fire here and there's so much control control issues abuse happening here verbal I'm not seeing physical I'm seeing verbal if you're dealing with if, if it's physical for you then it's physical but I, I definitely am picking up an energy of um Somebody is trying to get out of this. Somebody is trying to, oh my gosh, get recovery, more swords, trying to find healing, trying to find peace. There's an, there's sickness, there's illness, and it's almost as if, too, uh, the way the story plays out here, and if you can see it, let me see if I can get it to focus better, because when I do my readings at night, you know, this is what happens okay I really feel that you are trying to get away from something very toxic or a toxic relationship a toxic uh, a relationship of any kind or situation or a toxic place and the there's energy that's fighting for you to not go and it keeps you sick to stay. It keeps you ill. You, I see you trying to leave. I see you trying to get out and somebody's stopping you. They're wielding their this sword over you, this power, this control over you. I see you seeking help. Some of you are not able to go, and you have to stay where you are. But some of you are uh, kind of like making lateral moves because you're still in the situation or having to stay in the situation because there is, for whatever reason, difficulty in removing yourself physically. And finding ways to cope with staying in that situation. Because we've got the devil. We've got, then we go from the six of swords to the five of swords to the four of swords. So it's like you, I see that you make an attempt to get out. And then you're brought back in. With control, with words, with manipulation. This reading is heavy. Holy shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna burn a little sage here for this reading because this is like this energy needs to go. I was hoping for, you know, the ten of cups, the page of cups, some nice, you know, beautiful loving energy to be happening here, but we need to get rid of this because this is just not cool. And I'm so sorry if some of you are dealing with something like this because some of you are suffering. I, and so, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, you know, I try to be pretty uniform with my readings and sometimes I'll give these random readings, but I felt compelled to be here right now and do this. And I don't know why, but somebody needed to hear this. Somebody needed to hear this. Let me see where else this story is going here. There is also an energy, too, for some messages for a few of you that
there's a realization too. Those of you who actually have removed yourselves from this toxic situation or person or whatever it may be and are in the process of healing and recovering and, and gaining your power and your strength back are beginning to see now there's somebody who's supporting you. That's you laying here ill. And there's somebody here who's supporting you and trying to care for you. trying to listen to you listen to you and and listen about what you've been dealing with this this energy this person or this thing because it's really taken a toll on you on your self-esteem your mental capability you you're seeking rest now you're seeking rest this is where this is like survival mode for some of you okay getting help seeking rest uh, you're not trying to get out there and date. You're not trying to, you know, just drop it. And um, I mean, this is happening right now. Okay. I know some of you have left a situation and maybe you're further along in your uh, healing and, and you're getting to a place where now you are have gained quite a bit of strength. But this is for someone who's like at the rock bottom and seeking some type of help and recovery. And you could have, this could be, uh, actually, now that I'm seeing this, you see those two people in those blue robes? You've got someone coming to rescue you from this situation, coming to help you. Maybe you call them and ask them to take you or help you or get you or pick you up or do something. They're going to take you home or they're going to, you know, take you somewhere private, secluded, isolated, so you can get help and healing. I don't know when all this energy is going to happen. I do, you know, I do feel like it's during the cold months because of um, there's snow here in this in this image. It's this is a place where it's um, you know kind of far away out in the woods or somewhere more suburban or with some hills and there's a road and. Um, house you see that medicine bottle with that spoon look at the sadness on her face she's just exhausted she even has bags under her eyes from crying and being so tired and you know she's just like ugh and this woman she's kind of cloaked but she sits by your side and she supports you she's going to support you she's coming to get you get you out of this all right let's go on to some other messages here I wouldn't even know what to caption this so got the king of cups here He sits under the devil here, so this could be a water sign that you're connected to. Um, <laughs> so Cancer Scorpio Pisces, this is someone who, um, okay, so this is one message. This is someone who gives the appearance of calm, happy, focused, not really engaging with anyone, reserved, older, older male, but he's attached to this devil energy, this addictive energy, this toxic energy. This person 
they don't want you to go. They don't want you to get away from them or leave them in this situation, but they know that you will find your happiness. They don't want, you know, it's kind of like, um, you know, they want you to ha be happy, but they don't in a weird, weird way. Um, I feel like the um, toxic energy that's within them is hidden. But there's, there's this underlying hidden addiction or hidden things that is happening with them that they can't, they don't show in, in many ways that it's controlling them. They, they kind of, you know, act as if this is not happening or this is not controlling them. They act as if they are in control. Um, but you're leaving here. The purpose is to, you know, have your wishes come true, your contentment, your happiness, your peace of mind. That's what you're leaving for. Even if that means that you don't know what's on the other side. Of, of what you're dealing with right now. It's, it's, it's an open road. You have no idea what's coming. All you know is what you need to get away from. All you know is what you need to leave. And it's more like um, jumping off of a burning ship. You know that the possibility of anything could happen is out there. But the certainty of where you're staying is clear as a bell. Nine of Swords. So much anxiety and stress attached to this energy here. Sleepless nights. This is the only positive card that's showing up so far, this Ten of Cups. So this, this is what you're going after, and this, it's here for you. It's coming. And victory, okay? There's, this is, uh, for me, I feel like um, this, uh, this Four of Swords, this person who's helping you, they're trying to show you that there's something else, that they, that you can win. They're supporting you 100%. They've got your back. They're cheering you on. They're rooting you on. They know what you can be. They know that you've been held back or you've been held down. They're telling you here. They're, you know, taking you away and saying, look, this is what's on the other side. And you're kind of like, oh, I don't, I mean, I know, but I mean, really? Like you, there's a, a little bit of a lack of faith, but there's still a determination to move forward. There's, there's faith that moving forward will get you out of where you are, but it's, you, you know, you don't know. It's hard for you to believe that things will get better for you for some reason you feel because of perhaps what someone their influence on you made you think that it would never get any better than this it would never improve it couldn't improve and so there's this contrasting energy this cognitive dissonance happening here where you're confused and that's why you need the support of this person so if you've got someone that's you know rooting for you or groups of people who are rooting for you, you can trust them. You can trust them, that person, because they they show up here with these two victory Ten of Cups cards here. They're showing up here that way. Okay, so another message also I feel is that um, for some, this King of Cups, even though he sits here on top of this devil energy, this could be your person who's helping you. Okay, so some of you could be connected to a water sign male who is either helping you or who is 
Um, you may not be dealing with a toxic person. You could just be dealing with addiction on your own or a toxic situation that this King of Cups is very wise to and is willing to offer their help. This person knows for some reason all about this. This toxicity, this um, very bad energy. So let's move on to, sorry for the blur. What was I saying? I was I said, gee, I hope that this reading could bring us like I was hoping for the Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups, and then I burned that sage and it came. So clearing out that energy and it really works. Um, so there's some type of a love message or sweet, kind messages coming to you. And it could be from the King of Cups. And you've got the star. Have faith, they're saying. Have faith. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Keep the faith. Okay, now, hey, I just want to tell you, if you're dealing with someone who is manipulative um, they or controlling or toxic, and you start leaving and getting your help, and then you've got another... Uh, like say the, say the king of cups is the one you're trying to get away from they could be telling you now sweetening it up a little bit or you know finding a different tactic to keep you in the mix instead of using bullying and controlling now this person may be uh, saying okay well that's not working because she's leaving so uh, let me come at her with these love messages of some sort telling her to, to you know I believe in you have faith be strong follow this follow you know the light you're the light you're everything to me don't go I love you I want you in my life I can't live without you so, you know, now they're, they're kind of putting on the charm. And there's confusion. You're confused. You don't know what to believe. You don't know what to think. Am I, is this true? But wait, it's, it's contrasting. Because, you know, I can't pick my cards up. Because, you know, here, this is, this is what I saw. This is what you were doing. You know, this is an energy. This is what I saw. This is what you're doing. And, and now this, now you're doing this. They're also saying, don't, don't leave. What about our child? Or what about, you know, what about our, the baby? Or what about um, our kids? You, can, you know, really laying it on thick. Somebody's laying it on thick, okay? And I feel like for those of you who have a water sign male who is supporting you, and you know that this is a good person, then, you know, they're helping you fight something else. But for the majority of you, you are dealing with this person who is a dual individual or has a dual type personality. One minute they're one way, the next minute they're a different way. And they're showing you this. And they're showing you these contrasting energies here, and it's it's confusing. And that's why there's someone here who's trying to help you sort this out. Ay, ay, ay. Keep burning. Ladies, I just want to tell you, or guys, or gents, burn some sage. If you want to get rid of toxic energy, burn some sage, because... It works and inhale that breathe that through your nose a little bit smell it it clears it out so the ace of cups is here so there's some type of new be new beginning happening here for you new emotional changes happening in your life 
that potential for this. Now, there's new potential showing up here. Now, be careful, okay, because this could be the result of what's happening here. Renewing. This is renewal. Renewing um, a relationship with someone who was not good for you and um, because of their aggressive controlling ways now they're coming in with the sweetness and it's giving you a sense of hope again so you just want to watch that energy because there's this feeling of um, filling up your cup again and in um, some of the circle, community circles, there is an element of love bombing. So I feel like this, <laughs> I feel like this reading is going in a certain direction. And I really didn't have a plan for this. You know, I wasn't sure. But it's, it's kind of coming this way. So um, If, you're de if you've got someone, if you've been in a toxic relationship with someone and um, they're dualistic in nature or they are um, showing you conflicting signs um, and you're trying to get away or you, you're breaking contact with this person or you've disappeared or you're trying to disappear, um, they're going to try to stop you. They're going to try in many various ways to prevent you and um, this could possibly be something happening around Valentine's Day where you get that little hoovering you know sweetening, sweetening it up bringing you back into the lair the devil's lair it's a very powerful reading I almost wish I didn't give it but Oh, guys. <sighs> Six of Cups. So there, I'm definitely seeing this reconciliation happening here. You, you may have another round to go with someone. They might sweeten this up so much uh, that they make you believe that um, it's going to be good now. Everything's different. Everything's changed. Okay. Um, I got it. This, the blur, uh, I don't know. I don't, I was not, I wasn't diagnosed with OCD, but I feel there's a possibility because I can't deal with the blur. <laughs> so, I want to state that if you're not dealing with a water sign, uh, Pay, you don't have to pay attention to that energy, okay? It's just a person. You know who the person is. Now, I want to make a statement. Um, there's, there's a big community out there where um, there's huge awareness now of narcissism, psychopathy, sociopath. Um, and these are, at least the latter two, are um, only diagnosable by a physician or, you know, someone qualified to diagnose that. The narcissism thing um, is pretty epidemic. <laughs> and um, there are telltale signs of someone who could be on the further end spectrum of malignant narciss narcissistic malignancy um, but all of us do possess narcissistic traits okay it's part of our ego we have to have them okay they keep us in check um, our soul our self keeps us uh, keeps our ego in check um, and on the lower end um, it's it's very natural there's a huge fear that's surrounding this whole narcissism thing. And I think it's really important to become educated about this um, so you can understand. If you are dealing with someone 
who is a sociopath or a psychopath. There is no therapy on this planet that will cure them of this. It's a personality disorder and the psychopathy is um, a lack of something in the brain. There's no empathy. What There's um, cold empathy. It's cognitive empathy. Um, there's a huge, there's much education out there on that. So the point I'm trying to make is if you are dealing with someone in, in those two categories, try not to play yourself. Try not to manipulate yourself. Try not to um, try to get educated and be aware because there's no change with this. These people are predators and uh, you will always be a victim and, and you know that you are to some degree but there's something about the charm and uh, the sweetness that they possess where they can reel you in. Now if you're just dealing with someone who's got some narcissistic tendencies or is further along on the scale that they really just need a kick in the butt <laughs> over and over and over before they finally wake up. Some some of them who just have the, the ego issues, uh, they tend to have something traumatic happen in their lives that can change a lot within them or they learn new behaviors. So it's really hard for me to gauge what exactly you're dealing with here. And that's why it's really imperative for you to get yourself educated on what you're dealing with so that when this person comes back around, because I see it, you need to know how to handle this. You need to try really hard uh, not to jump in so quickly and in, in to be romanticizing um, the connection um, you need to be balanced and remember uh, because th this person only wants you to remember all the, the good that's how you get hooked back in they want you to be positive they want you to focus on only the positive things that they've done not the fact that they were controlling or berating you things like that and so this energy I, I, I love these cards these are two of my fav most favorite cards in the deck but right now I'm not loving them so much I'm not feeling their energy um, is positive I feel their feel good cards and their wish come true cards and there's there's thinking and reminiscing and reconciliation but I feel like there's messages coming to you from someone about renewing and, and starting this love up again and asking for forgiveness and things like that and I feel you need to be aware Try to be di discerning this time. Don't jump right into the fire this time. Take your time. Assess it. And if you are going through a period in your life where you are recovering from some type of an addictive situation or alcoholism, drugs, food, whatever it may be it's really imperative that you give yourself an extreme amount of time to heal before dealing with relationships because relationships are triggers the, the reason for and this is my belief and please know there's no judgment because we all have people who have addictive addiction issues in our lives that we're very close to that we love so I'm certainly not judging but when you take away the thing that you are uh, obsessing over or the um, the object of your desire then you're left with yourself see it's yourself there's something going on within you that is causing you to seek comfort else in other things or people and so that's why it's so important to stay kind of like grave rock with certain people um, while you're getting your healing and recovery uh, because 
there's certain people in our lives that know how to push our buttons very beautifully and we really have to learn to rearrange those buttons so that they can't get in so that you can stay focused on your healing doing things differently than the way you've done them before it's uh, actually the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results you have to change your game plan if you want different results so let's take a look here let's see what the other messages are okay you've got the high priest which is the hierophant um, this is your faith This is structure, tradition, moral values and beliefs. Um, this is Taurus energy. I'm also showing Aquarius energy here too. Um, Aquarius to me is always a new day is dawning. I always think of that old 60s song, The Age of Aquarius. And so for some of you, that's ringing true having a new day dawn for you so what's going on with the high priest so I feel like this is more or less getting in touch with there's an um, issue with a marriage so some of you are married and <clears throat> are leaving the marriage for whatever reasons and um, again your person may be in the mix is showing up here doesn't want you to leave the marriage connected to the a child some of you may have a child a son or a daughter um, they could be laying it on this could be part of this here you know the guilt the trigger three I'm sorry two of Pentacles so I do feel okay <clears throat> now I certainly just try to bring up an element of awareness I don't ever want to tell you what to do and sorry I'm just fixing this um, and I f it's uh, completely up to you of course you know I wouldn't know what you're going to do anyway but um, some of you may actually reconcile with this person and um, They may try to show you that they are um, in this place now where they're going to try to, to um, balance things out. They're going to keep things up and up, on the up and up. They may decide to uh, come to some type of um, healing place with you. <clears throat> work on the partnership making a decision to do this now whether they're true or not that's up to you to figure out I don't want to tell you that they are and then you I don't want you to base your decision off me saying they are or they aren't you, know, you have to figure this out if you need to do that if you need to find out again then uh, I feel like this this is what will be presented to you Okay, they will though give you a performance. This is a performance tactic, I feel, or strategy. Um, I love you. I miss you. Don't leave. I need you. We have a soul connection from our past. We go back so deep. Let's try this love again. I, here's what I will do. I will show you. Okay, I will perform and show you whatever it is that you need from me um, to prove to you that I am true and I am one with I have the key and I am one with um, the universe and do you know what hold on a second I have not used these cards in I don't know how long has it been a year maybe and I'm 
just looking at this high priest now hold on I've always believed that to be the um, the hierophant but I'm wondering now if this is the high priestess because he's holding a key there and I can't remember in this deck I'm not seeing it here. I'm looking. Hmm. Okay, so that that's telling to me that because I was given <clears throat> I was given the high priest as the hierophant, but I was also thinking of the high priestess. So, oh, strange how these messages come through. Okay, so if this is the hierophant, then the high priestess is a very vague, ghostly image in my mind. And that message to me is that this person has you faded out. See, the High Priestess and the Hierophant, they kind of go together. And, you know, partnership, couple, this person is focusing on themselves. It's about what they want. Look at his face. He holds the key. And he's kind of like, well, I have the key to the castle. So if you want it, here it is. He's just kind of like waving it, but he's not looking at it and he's not looking at you. He's just, I feel this is more performance based to bring you back in. I see the high priestess in my mind, but she's a ghostly vague image. And I feel like that is how this person views you is, yes, you are part of the couple, but I am more important part of the couple. I see that you're there and I know your worth and your value, but you're not as valuable as I am. But I can't not have you in my life, so I'm going to have to do some tricks. I'm going to have to juggle some things, do some tricks to show you that, um, you will find me worthy enough because for some reason you're not finding me worthy and I can't I can't sit with that I need to be back in this position of power in your life doom and gloom all over this reading <laughs> the sage I still smell it maybe I should burn a little bit more Mm. Okay, Nine of Pentacles here. I see what you're probably going to be doing here, for sure. <laughs> you're saying no. You're you're staying in this this Nine of Pentacles. You know she's. She's very independent. She's the bachelorette. <laughs> She's financially independent, self-sufficient, staying in her power. Nine of Pentacles is my favorite card in this deck um, because she represents my channel, Goddess Power, and There's no going back to this. I feel that's your energy here. Sorry for the blur. Yay. Um, it's kind of like you're sitting here and you're, you're looking. Your head is turned. You're looking at the person, but your head is turned, and you're kind of in this place of, well, I see what you're saying, but you know what? I don't need you. 
You need me, but I don't need you. Not after that. Not after that five of swords and that devil energy. And I don't need the addictions and I don't need, I can thrive without these things. And if you want to do your performance based manipulations or ways to get me back, okay, go ahead. And um, you're going to have to keep doing them for a while, you know, because I feel like you're in this place now where you're good. You're good. And this nine of this nine of rods here, you know, that their energy is just kind of like they're pissed. You know, they're kind of like um resentful. They feel beaten up, bruised, angry. And you may also display this energy to them where you're good, but there's still a lot of work you have to do as well because this is our wounded warrior card our wounded soldier you know he's got the bandage on his head he's got a lot of issues you have a lot of issues that you still have to deal with and so does this other person all right so if you're not dealing with someone who's of the ted bundy type um then i feel like uh there can be the performance-based show can be a show of um, proof as well. And you'll have to look and see if this is a pattern that will continue, okay? It's not the words, it's not the actions, but it's a consistent pattern that must keep moving forward for this relationship to thrive. It, it can't just be a one-time deal with flowers and promises and you know look at me i can do this look at me i can do this and then the following week this person's back to their old ways they're you're coming across to me with you know i'm gonna have to see this long haul long term changes just as you're going to be producing those as well in your life long term long haul changes consistency a pattern of consistency. Queen of Swords here. Definitely empowerment. Neighbor Gemini, um, Aquarius <coughs> energy here. Sword up ready to fight, fight for yourself, fight for your family, fight for your loved ones, fight, fight for everything that's good and true in your life. I see you taking that on, you know. The King of Wands. <laughs> power couple here. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is your energy, whoever you are, this Queen of Swords. This is this King of Swords. Um, I mean, King of Rods. I, who is that? That's not you. This could be someone new. It catches your eye now that you're in this new place here. Now that you're no longer <laughs> it's petty, but I, I there is a message coming to me that um <laughs> it's almost as if you, I feel like you're thinking to yourself, well, you know, if you don't keep up your pattern of consistency to to prove to me that you're sincere and authentic with me and about our love and our relationship then there is somebody else who just happened to walk by me and I'm interested <laughs> it sounds so petty I don't like to to play those petty games but hey 
Well, I'm not saying that I do that. I don't personally. I don't. I don't. I don't judge. I don't go down that road. I don't find that to be important, really, um, because it's just high schoolish. But and I'm not saying you're being high schoolish, but you may be thinking this to yourself as well. You know, plenty of fish in the sea. Um, I guess I'll just clarify this uh, situation here with two people. This reading's going to take like two hours to upload. <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Decision on the table. That's definitely what's happening. See, sometimes my messages come out before I clarify and then I clarify and it just confirms what I was what I was getting um, it's basically saying you know some of you are going to do this it's either it's me or I walk with someone else you will be in this place of indecision like you, you've, you can walk away you've seen the red flags and you know that um, unless they just disappear, you're not letting any emotion come in through them, through those swords, through your thoughts. You're not making an emotional decision at all. You're, those red flags are showing up more than the waters and the moon, which represents all that emotion. And you're not even going to make a decision. You're actually, there could be a fire sign that comes in, into your life. This person's very powerful. Um, you know, attractive. They're strong. Uh, this person is, you know, some of you could be a Virgo here too, as well. But this person is um, confident. And they're above board. They're in the upright. So they're, it's a family man. This person takes care of his family. And, you know, the decision might be to leave the old red flag in the, in the, in the past and walk in the direction where this king of rods is going. Walk in that same direction. Because there's something with them that is showing to be real, not hidden. They're fi fiery and passionate, you know, um, versus this king of uh, cups who's much more passive and gentle um, and secretive and quiet. This uh, king rods, nope, not like that at all. And there's communication with you and this person. Okay. It's not romantic. It's um it's not lovey dovey communication. It's it's rather straightforward. Um there is an element of um this person does have much respect and admiration for you. And they are fishing, they are looking for someone. I do feel this person is single. And um, they are interested in dating. You know, and of course, as I was saying before, if you're in a healing process right now or recovering from something, dating may not be on the table. Um, and so it may just stay platonic, which is okay. Maybe a friendship gets built first. So I'm, I was thinking while I was shuffling and pulling the card, I'm not going to pull any more cards. I feel like, because I'll sit here for two hours, but I feel like the messages were pretty straightforward, you know, about what was going on. And, and again, I don't, I don't know who this will resonate for. Um, like I said, it's not for anyone in particular. It's just a very intuitive message and it may, you may connect with it. You know, you may or you may not. Um, of course, the February love readings are up, so um, and they're 
sign to sign. Sorry, I have to fix this again. They're they're based uh, sign to sign. So of course you can just listen to those um, if you want to know what's going on with your sign. Um, but yeah, this was just very random. Needed to come out, and I think I'm just going to leave it there. So. I want to say thank you so much for all of the uh, likes, comments, and the subscribes. I truly appreciate it. And if you would care to share my videos, um, I would appreciate that as well. You don't have to. And um, if you would like to, um, if you're new, welcome. And thank you for watching. And please do click the notification bell and do subscribe um, so you can keep updated on my readings. All right. So I wish you all a very happy weekend and happy end of January going into February and, and the rest of the year. And I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.